In this video, we're going to talk about everything you need to know for management of neutropenic fever, generally in the inpatient setting. So neutropenia is defined by an ANC or an absolute neutrophil count of less than 1500, and severe neutropenia is defined by an ANC of less than 500. And when we're talking about neutropenic fever, it's generally this second category of patients that we are most concerned about. In terms of defining neutropenic fever, it's defined as a single measurement of uh, a temperature greater than 100 degrees Fahrenheit or greater than 100.4 Fahrenheit for more than one hour. Neutropenic fever is considered an emergency and uh, antibiotics need to be started within 60 minutes of presentation. So for inpatients, we are pretty much always going to start these people on broad coverage with cefepime. And interestingly, uh, vancomycin is not necessary up front. So vancomycin really is only recommended if there is concern for a port infection, pneumonia, a skin and soft tissue infection, or if the patient is hemodynamically unstable. But in all other cases, you're probably okay with just starting with cefepime. In terms of workup, we are going to get uh, blood cultures, and generally we want to get one from the port and one peripherally to look for any uh, port infection. And one of the things that you look for uh, if concerned for a port infection is a time to positivity difference between the port and the peripheral uh, blood culture of greater than two hours. So for example, if the blood culture drawn from the port becomes positive two hours before the blood culture from the periphery, that implicates the port as a cause of the infection. So that's one thing to be aware of. In terms of imaging, we start with a chest x-ray in low-risk patients, or we get a non-contrast CT chest in high-risk patients. And I would say that a majority of patients coming into the hospital are probably going to be in this higher-risk category and getting the CT chest. But how do we actually define low-risk and high-risk? So low-risk tends to be those kind of patients undergoing solid uh, tumor chemotherapy regimens, whereas high-risk, I think of, uh, of any of those hematologic malignancies, because a lot of times they're going to have prolonged neutropenia, and it's expected that their ANC is going to be less than 500 for greater than seven days. And then any other uh, active medical conditions or renal impairment or liver injury, these are all patients that would fall in the high risk category. Okay, so again, chest x-ray in low risk patients, but uh, more often we're gonna be getting non-contrast CT chest in these high risk patients who are coming into the hospital. And then if the patient is reporting any abdominal pain, then you wanna get a CT abdomen and pelvis, specifically looking for conditions like tiflitis. So you can get uh, what's called neutropenic enterocolitis, which often affects the cecum uh, because of translocation of bacteria in that region when you're neutropenic. Um, and so you get this right lower quadrant pain. Um, and you can also look for C. diff colitis, which is uh, going to be common in these patients because of how much health care exposure they have. Now, if the patient is still persistently fevering after four days without a clear source, what is recommended is obtaining a CT sinus because a lot of these fungal infections can actually you know, start invading the sinuses. So that's something you need to assess for. And then also looking for a serum galactomannan to look for aspergillus infection, and then also starting an empiric antifungal. So this is a very key point about uh, neutropenic fever. And so uh, one thing I want to mention about the workup is that 70% of neutropenic fever never has any clear source. Only about 30% of patients will have a documented infection. So this is just to kind of let you know that if you do not find anything that is actually not abnormal, in fact, it is more the norm that you'd never end up finding anything and the patient's neutropenic fever resolves. So let's talk about what to do once the patient's neutropenic fever is resolving. So once the patient's uh, been afebrile for 24 to 48 hours and their ANC is greater than 500 and rising, you can actually discharge the patient and you can stop the antibiotics as soon as they meet this criteria, as long as the infectious workup is negative. Finally, we like to initiate neutropenic precautions on these patients. And specifically, an important thing to note is avoiding rectal exams and suppositories while patients are neutropenic. This is something that can be very easily forgotten, but uh, you really need to avoid any trauma to the GI tract 
uh, from like a rectal exam because it can cause translocation of bacteria. Uh, usually our gut wall is filled with white blood cells that can kind of combat any bacteria that gets across. But when you're neutropenic, you're just going to become, you know, acutely bacteremic if bacteria translocates. One last thing is, uh, you know, prophylaxis. So what patients need neutropenic fever prophylaxis uh, with antibiotics? So typically, again, this is usually going to be those hematologic malignancies, but anyone, again, kind of in this high risk category where it's suspected that they're going to have prolonged neutropenia um, of ANC less than 500 for greater than seven days. So you'll see patients be on levofloxacin, and then potentially they will be on acyclovir and uh, an antifungal such as isovuconazole or posaconazole, depending on the situation. Typically, again, patients who are getting solid tumor chemo regimens, they don't usually need neutropenic fever uh, prophylaxis with antibiotics. So that's my quick approach to neutropenic fever. Remember to get that work up, start antibiotics early, and then after four days, if they're still fevering, get that CT sinus, send that galactomannan, and start empiric fungal coverage. Please let me know down in the comments if this was helpful, and if you have any questions, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.